you, uh, you mind if I, um... Give me my money back. Yeah, um... Okay. Um, I don't have it. Uh, I spent it all. Okay. I'm really gonna break your arms and your legs. Um, and then when you're walking again, you'll owe me 50 grand. How did you know who the bail bondsman was? Oh, what are you, Columbo here with the third degree? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just a little curious. I knew who he was because I was the one that put up the money for your bail. That's a lot of money. I'll, I'll pay you back as soon as I can. Figured you were good for it. Why'd you do that for me? You seem like a good man who lost his way. I could help, so I did. And at this point, a straight up thank you would be okay. Thank you. There's a, a lot of good men out there who have lost their way. Wow, you make me say it out loud. I felt like we got along pretty good. I felt like there was some kind of weird connection there between us. I trusted my feelings. Damn it. Was I wrong? No. You weren't wrong. Okay, then. I have to warn you, Lorelai. Um, I'm not the great catch you might think I am from first impressions. do what Red John tells me to do. What? Your freedom. Our night together, that was a gift from him. You can hurt me if you'd like. No, I don't want to hurt you. I've given up, he knows that. What does he want from me? He doesn't want anything from you. After all these years, He's come to see you as an old comrade rather than an enemy. He hopes you'll come to feel the same way. Your comrade. Patrick, look at yourself. You need a new life. He can give that to you. You have to leave. He's offering the hand of friendship. If you refuse him, he'll be upset. Anyone would be. Get out. You know where to find me. 